It's been months now since Liv and I did our last video together and the last video we did was a Fujifilm lens shootout. So what better way to commemorate our reunion than doing another Fujifilm lens shootout. Today we are going to compare the two 16mm lenses, the 16mm 1.4 with the new 16mm f2.8 WR prime lens. Let's see what these lenses are all about. So the 16mm prime lens is designed for landscape and architectural photographers and videographers with its wide angle focal length. It's equivalent to about a 24mm in full frame format because of the APS-C crop, which means that it is quite a versatile wide angle lens, which could also be used for wide angle portraiture as well. So to kick off our video, today we're going to be covering the differences in design and construction on both lenses, optical construction, the performance on both lenses, and the image quality comparison on both lenses. And now, Liv is gonna be talking about the design of both of the lenses. So let's compare the design and construction of these two lenses. First up, we have the 16mm f2.8, which is part of the WR Prime Lens series. It only weighs 155 grams and is a compact metal construction. As standard, it comes with a clicky aperture ring and also a small manual focus ring. The 16mm f1.4 is also weather resistant and it's also quite a lot bigger than the f2.8. It comes with a focus ring with hard stops which benefits both photographers as well as videographers. It also comes with a clicky aperture ring and it also comes with a depth of field scale. So now I'm going to go over the optical construction differences between both lenses. Now the Fujifilm 16mm f2.8 houses two aspherical elements on the inside of the lens and so does the 16mm f1.4 and these are in the lens just to help with distortions as well as chromatic aberrations. Now the 16mm f1.4 goes a bit further and adds two extra low dispersion elements to help with colour fidelity as well as contrast and sharpness. Furthermore, both lenses are coated. The Fujifilm 23mm f2.8 WR is coated with super EPC coating which you can see in most of Fujifilm's lenses, and that's just to help with ghosting and flaring. Whereas the 16mm f1.4 goes that step further again with nano GI coating as well as EBC coating, just to give it that added protection above all of that. Furthermore, there are differences in the minimum and maximum aperture ranges of both lenses. Starting with the Fujifilm 16mm f2.8 WR, you get a aperture range of f2.8 all the way up to f22, giving you a large versatile range. Being able to stop down f22 may be a bit much at times, but in those moments where you don't have an ND filter and you're outside during the day and it's really sunny, it might be nice having that range to stop down to. Whereas the 16mm f1.4, although it does not have a large aperture range as the 16mm f2.8, you can stop it down to 1.4, giving you more depth of field control and low light performance. Now, if you do decide to step out during harsh sunlight, you can't stop it down more than f16, so we do highly recommend carrying around an ND filter, especially if you are a videographer. Comparing the two lenses, we've noticed that the Fujifilm 16mm f2.8 is actually wider than the 1.4, which may be a pro or a con depending on how you look at it. Comparing the sharpness between the lenses, the 16mm f2.8 does look to be a bit sharper when shooting at apertures below f5.6, whilst beyond f5.6, the 16mm 1.4 does perform a bit stronger. In saying that, the sharpness in quality between the two lenses is not too different. Bokeh difference on the two is noticeable with the ability to open up to f1.4. Furthermore, having the ability to focus closely does give it a bit more pop in the bokeh. Both lenses deal pretty well with the distortion and aberrations. Corner performance on both lenses are good and both seem to deal well with flaring and ghosting. Overall, both of these lenses boast a high level of optical performance, which makes it a tough decision to choose one over the other. However, we can see two pretty clear reasons why you go one lens over the other. So firstly, 
If you are going to go the Fujifilm 16mm f2.8, it would be more beneficial if you are a traveler or enthusiast photographer looking to get a nice compact wide angle lens for your travels or everyday use. Now the Fujifilm 16mm 1.4 is a bit more different. With its upgraded ergonomics and its manual focus ring, we can see this really beneficial for videographers as well as landscape photographers who require to manual focus such as astrophotographers and basically just the whole all around experience using the lens, being able to open up up to 1.4, giving you extra low light and depth of field performance. And that close focusing performance is really beneficial too if you really do want that extra bokeh performance. So leaving up to you, depending on which lens you'll go for, both are great lenses and we highly recommend going either 16 mil if you're looking for a good prime lens for your Fujifilm system. If you have any questions on both of these lenses or are looking to suggest a future shootout for Liv and I to compare, pop them in the comments below. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, as well as our blog to stay up to date with our latest events and what's going on in store. And as per normal, if you enjoyed our video, hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our future updates as we upload videos weekly.